Hey everyone. Well, uh, putting up an, another video on uh, my uh, tractor here I'm working on. My little backhoe setup. Anyways, I um, put on a, uh, a new uh, hydraulic pump on this year. And uh, I'm not too sure what went wrong, but I took out the front seal on it. Because I had it mounted on the back here and hooked up right onto the PTO shaft. So I'm going to have to reroute it and uh, put it on the front now uh, so, so it's going to run off the engine now so um, can't run it off the PTO anymore it's not going to work that way so anyway here's the uh, front uh, engine stub uh, I went to my local uh, Kubota um, dealership here and they had no idea had no shaft like no shaft that would just slide on there so um, I don't know they're a bunch of idiots over here anyway so whatever um, anyways um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a piece of shaft the piece of shaft right here and I'm gonna put it in there and weld it up and uh, I got some quick couplers similar to that uh, smaller and I'm gonna just going to um, cut a keyway into this shaft here take my uh, grinder cut a little keyway in there put some uh, eighth inch uh, square stock in there that'll be my key for the uh, for the coupler they have um, here's the proper one you got two of those one goes in the pump and there's a little um, a rubber Star thing that goes in there. So if there's any vibration in this shaft, you'll take it up on this. So, and being that it'll be solid mount on the front tractor, it will be a lot better. And I got to, you know, it's be a lot better that way. And when I'm not using the machine, I just have to um, loop the hoses and um, or take the pump off the front. Period. Anyway, it's not really a big deal, really. So yeah, I got new pump for it and my hoses right here. All that. Um, I got a big pump here. It's actually 13 gallon per minute pump. And um, on my Jurette, I put a new I put a new pump on there, which was 8 gallon. So I'm gonna change them out and put the 13 on the Jurette and put the 8 on the backhoe. Because uh, a 13 gallon per minute pump, it'll be way too fast on this uh, little backhoe. So uh, yeah, uh, I was originally going to get a um, I was originally I was originally going to get a PTO pump, but uh, they're just too damn expensive, and uh, this is going to work a little better for me. set this down anyways here's a new pump I'm using um, that's what I like to use I like to use these kind of pumps so they're compact and they work good for, for what I need to do with them but um, you can't have them you can't have them uh, in an area that they're, that they're going to move either side to side or nothing like that it'll take the front shot, take the front bearing right out and that's what happened to the other one so that's why I'm mounting it on the front of the machine here so it'll be solid and it's not going go anywhere so yeah so yeah um, that's my little video on that uh, once I'm uh, uh, close to uh, mounting the pump on I will post up another video of uh, this project and uh, maybe it'll give some of you guys uh, an idea too how to do this 
if you're going to put a little back or look a little pump of some sorts in the front um, and it's going to come use for other things make a little um, log splitter possibly um, build to eventually uh, I made a little sweeper for sweeping prunings that's handy as well so anyways uh, yeah uh, front uh, mount uh, hydraulic pump is next on this one here okay well, thanks for watching my video and uh, comment subscribe all that good stuff and stay tuned for more videos bye for now guys